All right, so we're just walking up now to the Red Tractor offices. If you don't know what Red Tractor is, it's this uh, it's similar to the RSPCA. They approve and assure uh, the public of their products being traceable, trustworthy, uh, humane. Uh, so Red Tractor, I think they approve plant products, but they also approve animal products, assure the public that the animals were slaughtered using the highest standards and the farms are in you know following the best guidelines possible in the uk we've exposed these farms before this is moss rose piggeries in blackpool a red tractor approved farm that is a direct supplier to the supermarket chain morrison's in april to june of this year undercover investigators discovered shocking scenes inside this facility including sick and injured animals unsanitary conditions, and clear animal welfare breaches. These animals were also provided with no bedding, no sign of food, and visible blood stains were seen on the floor and walls. Red Tractor is just a nonsense stamp that makes people feel good about purchasing cruel products. Here we are here. I believe this is the offices here. It looks like there's an Animal Rebellion um, little stamp on the side of it. There's another one that says Feeding Ignorance, which is true. Red Tractor Feed Ignorance because no one ever looks into it. They see the stamp, Red Tractor. Uh, when I see that stamp, all I see is just pigs screaming for their lives in gas chambers. According to Morrison's own website, their pork is sourced from UK pig farms, which have some of the highest standards in Europe and the world. And all their own brand produce has to adhere to Red Tractor approved standards. What these uh, places do is they make our job harder because they're, they're making the public feel comfortable about something that's obviously wrong and cruel. Police are arriving. These are the type of farms that Red Tractor approves. All Red Tractor are, are a massive propaganda machine. So they feed this lie to the public. They're, they're one of the main problems with animal agriculture. People think that what they're purchasing is humane because of the constant propaganda that's repeated into their mind through advertising and through the pictures of green pastures and UK has the best food standards on earth, the best slaughter practices, the best farms, all a bunch of utter nonsense. Red Tractor approved gas chambers, knives in throats, bolt guns to the skulls of animals, and they claim it's humane. From our research, we believe Moss Rose are potentially in violation of a number of Red Tractor guidelines, including risks to animal welfare, vermin control, unhygienic conditions, lack of dry lying areas, inappropriate flooring, lack of environmental enrichment, and much more. They're propaganda machines. They are, I think they are the biggest problem with changing people. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I love that. That, that. that describes it perfectly. Yeah, these, these places we should target more. Like RSPCA, Red Tractor, you know, this, these humane stamps. Their job in there is to trick the public because they know. They're like, okay, how can we market this product to make people feel comfortable about this product? And how are we going to design this advertisement? Okay, we'll do the happiest animals, the best conditions in the world. You know, and there was a lady who talked about the marketing of animal products. She did a TED talk. Yeah. yeah you yeah. remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she talked yeah, yeah. about the marketing yeah. part. So all it is is marketing. They're trying yeah. to make you feel comfortable about yeah. buying their product. I'm going to give you some of the secrets about how we make you buy what we want you to buy. Everybody believes what's on the label. 
So let's look at some examples. Some of my favourites, some of the ones I use all the time, I'll use Farm Fresh. I'll use 100% Natural. I'll use Butcher's Choice. But what does that really actually mean? Well, truthfully, it doesn't mean very much. If we see that on the label, we feel a bit more confident. But let's have a look at what a farm really looks like. It probably looks like that. Now, this is a concentrated animal feeding operation. And that's not going to look great on a label. Hence, we use Farm Fresh. Now, the public aren't going to be massively keen on that idea, and it's my job to make them feel a little bit better about it. And what they do is they say, as farming has become more efficient, veterinarians have incorporated new technologies and methods into practice. This makes us feel good. This is positive. Yeah, this is progress. So these two techniques alone, they are not going to work. We need a secret weapon. Number three. It is you. When you're in the supermarket, you don't want to think about where those products have come from. You don't want to think about the, how those animals have been reared, how they've been treated. The power of willful ignorance cannot be overstated. And we uh, went to uh, Morrison's and handed out the pasties and did a red, showed all the red tractor farm to everyone. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the front of Morrison's. We've got the vegan pasties and the vegan sausage rolls. We're going to hand them out to the public and see what they think about red tractor approved. Red, what does this sign mean to you, red tractor approved? Never heard of it. Oh really? It's like a humane stamp of approval. And they put it on, if you go into Morrison's you'll see it on the meat products, right? And this here it was actually a farm that was stamped with the red, tr red tractor label. Right. Moss Rose Piggeries. So if you can see, they're on concrete floors. This is a factory farm. So Morrison's put this stamp of approval on there. But these pastries here actually contain no animal products at all. So there's no meat or anything in these. No. No. Yeah. That's what it is. No, it's really unbelievable. I really understand farmers sometimes because they struggle with life. And, but they've been brought up in dog. Yeah. They've just been brought up in a farming this community. This is really bad. Yeah. This is really bad. Yeah, they are more culpable, I feel, yeah. um, because they know that I, I, they would know that a lot of their places are being exposed as well. Yeah, and, yeah. and I don't, I don't know, like. They're not very strenuous with their checks, you know. It's good, we'll take these people down. Yeah. Not the people, the, the uh, we'll take this, you know, business, this corporation. Yeah. Yeah. The people are just people, aren't they? But uh, still, you would have a, mo I have a moral conflict with lying to the public about something that's obviously yeah. cruel. Yeah, this is... This and, and a moral conflict with something that's clearly destroying the Earth's resources and environment and you know, the, the recent UN report about the climate and all of this, like there's something really ethically wrong with that, you know. If this is seen by Morrison's and the Red Tractor Scheme as acceptable, then what do the farms that don't get accepted look like?